Hey there, Bright Hope. I want to welcome you and I just have a short encouragement video for you today. I haven't forgotten about you guys. I know that I usually have an announcement video posted for you at this point, uh, but I'm actually going to post an announcement video this coming Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Uh, on our Bright Hope YouTube channel. And again, you can get there by going to our website, bhbic.com, and clicking on the YouTube icon. So uh, I just wanted to give you a few short words of encouragement today. Uh, this comes from Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 9 and 10, where the prophet writes, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. And you may hear that those words and think, well, that's not very encouraging. But I think for a number of you, you should find great encouragement in those words because the Lord does see your heart and he sees what is going on in the inside. And he sees those of you who are submitting to Jesus Christ and doing the things that he's asking you to do. Uh, he sees those private prayers that you pray. and He sees those private acts of kindness that you do. He sees the way in which you forgive and love those who disagree with you. He sees all of you and he knows what your desires are. And those of you who've been following him for a while now, you do have desires that greatly please him because you simply want to make him happy. So these verses should be very encouraging for you that God is looking at your heart. And one of the things I also find encouraging for us is when we realize that there are things within us that are not what God wants and we repent of those things, when God looks upon us, he sees the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And so we rely on Christ and what it is he has done and we also seek to please him with how we live. And I want to encourage you to know that the Lord sees your heart, to know that he there that there is nothing that you can hide from him and that there that should be something that you, find, you that you find great encouragement in as a follower of Jesus. Any of you who are watching who don't follow Jesus know this that God is the one who is looking out the window longing and waiting for you to come home. For those of you who follow Jesus and haven't really been talking to him in a while or haven't really been connecting with him a whole lot, know that God is the one who is closer than your next breath and he is seeking to engage with you. He longs to be able to have that close connection with you again. And so the invitation is always open. God sees your heart. He knows all that is there and may you find great encouragement in that fact that even when nobody else may see it, God can see it and he loves you and he welcomes you just as you are. And he's gonna challenge you to grow, but he's gonna be with you every step of the way. I encourage you to look into Jeremiah chapter 17, a good bit more. It's just a powerful, powerful chapter. And especially Jeremiah 17 verses five through 10 just really provides a really nice section of verses to reflect on. So. If you're in the midst of kind of floating around devotionally or you're not sure what to do or it's been a few days since you've cracked the Bible open, open up your app or grab the Bible off the shelf or off your bedside table and open it up and get into Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 5 through 10. That Those just really provide some great room for conversation with Christ and some great opportunity to draw closer to him and allow him to uh, give you what it is that you need today. Well, thank you for tuning in. And once again, uh, for our church family here at Bright Hope, we will have an, an actual announcement video for you on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for our newsletter, which usually comes out today. That also will be coming out on Saturday. Hope you have a great day. All right. Bye.